what I want to let everybody know is that this is not a public speaking class. So if you think it's public speaking, it's not. This is about the art of storytelling. You come out with your message. Play big, never settle. Then you bring me into your character development. There's an arrow that's above you every single second Good. of your life. And it can take you at any moment. And that's why you must play big Good. and never settle. Good. If you learn how to tell a story correctly and properly, you'll become a better leader, you'll become a better employee, you'll become a better person. Now, if you were to give that same speech to your four-year-old and bring her into this speech, how would you reframe that speech? Some of you just lost a loved one. Some of you are running companies that are earning hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. There's one thing all of you have in common that all of us have in common. We all have a voice in our head that can point out everything that's wrong with us. But that's not who you are. If you think this is about a stage and an event, you're a thousand percent wrong. This is about your life. You've said that now four times that it's never too late. That's important for you. Because you know what that tells me? That you feel like you got a late start. So let's picture a race. You ran a marathon, right? Yes. Said he was passionate about a marathon. Okay, so if you gave a speech like this, <laughs> Okay. I'll be sweating I, 10 times more than I'm sweating now. Okay. So, so I like to run. It's the one place where I feel free. Correct. Okay. And, and you go like this. <laughs> and I'm, you know, and the reason I'm doing this is because I hate public speaking. So I have to go into character. This actually helps. All <laughs> right. Because it it, you're relating with your passion. And, and also, I'm running. It also takes you out of your head. Yes. I like that. That's why I did that. So I'm running this marathon. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't give up, I can't give up, I can't give up, I can't give up, I can't give up. This is not about being a victim and standing on stage and saying, look what life has done to me. I wept, felt stupid for weeping, wept even more. <laughs> this is about reframing your story to inspire others. But the weeping wasn't a feeling of helplessness. It was the realization that I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna come back now to the office and I'm gonna make it. So what I want to do for everybody in this room is I want to get you out of victim mode and I want you to start owning your story. So let's get to the process. 